should you go for the up banner for Vala? I've been hearing that from everybody right now. That's the biggest question, and we have briefly talked about it here and there in a couple of other videos, but I wanted to make a dedicated one because I just keep seeing the question pop up. Should we go for the up limited banner on Vala? Is she worthwhile, especially if you're a free-to-play player? Well, let's talk about that here today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So first things first, the second you go into Noble Tavern, uh, they literally flash this big old Vala guaranteed in 40 recruitments thing. They use a different currency, which are rate up invite letters. However, you can still do them for diamonds as well. Granted, you have to play the premium of 3000 diamonds in comparison to the all hero recruit costing 2700. The question is, should you even consider this? Well, to give you a little bit of history here, uh, you can get, I think, a grand total of eight copies, I think. Yeah, if you have, uh, if you, depending on what your highest hero is, is the number of guaranteed copies you can get in this, which is something a lot of people have not realized. That's why I have remaining eight. It went up from yesterday because I now have a supreme hero. So... Is this worthwhile and what is the history of this? Well, this is the first ever rate up banner we have ever seen in AFK Journey. Yes, like the whole entire history, uh, we just, we've, we've never had one until pretty much right before launch. And the question is, how often do these come around? The answer is we really do not know. We know that they run like a, th a three week kind of period here. So my guess is we will have a running three week banner hero every once in a while. And that is probably the best assumption we can start with now most everything about this banner is the same uh you can literally see the prize pool here the rate up hero is here uh you got your a wishlist heroes at a 10 percent. you can come over here and compare that as well uh technically you do have a lower chance to get the a level heroes that you want and beyond that it does continue to use your wishlist so that is at least like a bonus here uh, but it doesn't like, yeah, it's, it's just, th th I think this is the biggest part that is kind of a scam is the percentage of chance to get it. Now your chance to get the main hero is slightly higher up to 3% uh, compared to 2.05. And of course you're getting the one hero versus one of these that you may or may not need. You get a hero that's not your main carry here. You get one of the ones you just recently put on that is a negative. And then of course you can see the food down here versus the food here. So even if Vala was good, I do think it is a much worse idea to go for the rate up banner simply because in the early game, there are so many strong A level heroes. This is really, really going to hurt your progression of your heroes. I mean, literally less than half the chance to get an A level hero per 10 summons than the normal banner. So if that alone doesn't get it to you, get it through your head, don't do the Vala banner. Let's go a little bit more details into it. So that we can actually go a little bit more into detail, I'm jumping onto my PTR account that we still have access to because we did build Vala. We got her up to like level 140 and she was pretty good. What she really, really does the best at, story mode. She counters certain enemies so well. She's pretty decent overall in PvP, like probably above average because of the way that her abilities work. The downside is Dream Realm, she's not as good as some A-level heroes. And I think the Dream Realm is something a lot of people have not been like prioritizing in their head coming to this game uh, versus the veterans. No, this is where all your power is going to come from across all the rewards, ranking rewards, A-level copies you're going to be able to buy. This is the most important game mode. She's still very good in that game mode, just not as good as some of the A-levels or other S-levels that you need for other game modes. Now, what makes her so good? Who? Well, if we take a look at her ability notice beforehand, Vala sends a notice to mark the furthest enemy in when a battle starts. That's going to be one of the most beneficial things you're going to see here. Yep, give me all my loot. So when I jump into battle, I'm going to just put Vala in so you can see exactly what's going on here. You can see this little mark floating above the head. Depending on where I move her, it can go to a different target. Usually it's just the back left or back right. It's really hard to get anyone else to it because essentially what that mark is doing is it's going to the target that is furthest away from this hero right here. It's just going to go to the furthest 
target what that's gonna do is it's basically gonna absorb energy from them and essentially prevents them from using their own ultimate which is really really good so if you are going up against a Cessier or something like that on the battlefield that is a huge issue for you having her across from her or rather furthest away across from her is going to be very very beneficial on top of that her ultimate skill is either a huge snipe shot that is almost going to one shot heroes or she's going to leap on over and melee them with a big burst attack so she's very unique in the way she works but again uh very very strong let's see if i can just battle here with just two heroes i don't know if i'm too weak right now uh, but you can see here, the energy is constantly getting drained off this hero, and she's sniping at them. Beyond that, the ultimate is going to snipe another target. So that's what makes her so good. So why am I saying don't build her? Well, that's kind of because at the end of the day, it's all about team compositions. And she does fill a similar DPS role as easier heroes to get, such as Odie. Uh, both very strong single target heroes, yet they work a little different. Odie can't prioritize that back line where she can. There's also other heroes you're going to want to prioritize on your team for, you know, the Dream Realm. Corrin is going to be another one. Another ranged hero is Merrily. These are going to be ones that you're going to have better benefits with in Dream Realm. And besides the story, I mean, the story is important, but besides story, she's not needed or she's not in the this is the best lineup for this game mode besides maybe just pushing the story mode but the story mode is going to come slowly uh i just personally don't think this hero is needed i i just i really really don't and i don't want to see people fall down the trap of building a hero and then having issues and then like i said beyond that the fact that the a level wish list is only a 10 percent pull versus a 22.5 percent pull I mean, that, that is really going to stagnate the amount of copies you get of A-level heroes. Now, I do want to reiterate one more time. I love this hero. I just don't think this is a must-have hero. What I'd rather do is do all recruitments now and then maybe save my diamonds as we get closer to the end of this banner because maybe the next banner is something good. Maybe it's a Thorin that you want to build for your team. Maybe it's a Cessia. Maybe it's, I mean, one of a million, a uh, Rowan. Brutus there's tons of options out there for who might be the best pick uh but I just I just don't think it's Vala I really really don't so be careful with your diamonds like we talked about earlier today we did that whole video about how and where you can spend diamonds if you didn't make sure you go check that one out in the morning uh and we're gonna be updating some of our older guides in the coming days from the closed beta because things have changed and we want to make sure we get the best information in your hands hopefully you guys enjoy this one hit that subscribe button I'll see you guys next time.